there at Quick Central Park. Sonichu finally catches up to the robot who captured Rosachu. With it are Dr. Robotnik, Giovanni, and his adopted son, Rel Knock Not So Mixer. Giovanni, Robotnik, where is Rosachu? Sonichu demands. Looking up, he notices she is still in the clutches of the robot. Gasp! Rosie! Rosie! What have you done to her? No worries, Sonichu, says Giovanni. She's only fainted. She is safe. For now. Depending on your cooperation. And I suggest you keep your distance, withhold your attacks, and make no attempt to rescue her before I finish my say. Or she will die. Impatiently, Sonichu crosses his arms. Alright, I'm listening. Speak your evil, coward. Very well, says Giovanni. I want you to pledge your loyalty and obedience to my son, Relnok, and make him mayor of Quickville. What? Hells no, Sonichu answers. I implore you to think it over, Giovanni says. What's more important to you, your city or your sweetheart wife? Grr! Sonichu growls, confronted with the impossible choice. But before he can give in to Giovanni's demands, the leader of Team Rocket is struck from behind with a basketball. At that same instant, an unseen attack slashes the robot's hand off of its body, releasing its grip on Rosachu. Seeing her fall, Sonichu quickly races underneath the robot and catches its severed hand with Rosachu inside. Holding the robot hand over his head, he shakes Rosachu loose from its grip, dumping her unconscious body to the ground. With tears in his eyes, he kneels down beside her. Rosachu! Wake up! Sonichu sobs. Come on, sweetie, wake up! Slowly, Rosachu opens her eyes and sees Sonichu weeping. Uh... Sonichu, where are we? She asks. Oh, thank God! Sonichu blubbers. As Rosachu sits up, he wraps his arms around her neck and cries. You, you fainted while that Pudislav had you in its clutches. I chased after with a couple of minor interruptions. We are Quick Central Park. Giovanni wanted to blackmail your safety and well-being for rule over Quickville. I almost gave in, but then someone cut off the hand of the robot that was holding you. I rushed to catch it and rescue you. Oh, sweetheart, thank God you were safe. Oh, says Rosachu. Thank you so much, Honeybolt. Who cut off that robot hand? That would be us. Sonichu turns to find Bionic the Hedgehog and Darkbind Sonichu. Bionic and Darkbind? What's going on with y'all? He asks. Well, I was shooting some hoops with my homies at the corner of 5th and Char Street, says Bionic, when the jerk -ups came and interrupted our high fives, so we split up and KO'd some of them with our slam dunk and strength. I ended up here at the park where I saw you and Rosachu in trouble. Then I found Darkbine nearby. We teamed up and helped y'all out. I was leveling up with Expirance by practicing my swordsmanship on some goblins and demons, but I heard the chaos caused by the giant robots, and I blazed a trail through some of the jerk -offs and robots, Darkbine adds. I ended up here as well, saw you two in danger, and teamed up with Bionic to help you two out. Well, Rosie and I, we are grateful, says Sonichu. But as the heroes talk, Relknock recovers from Bionic and Darkbine's ambush. Gasp you, he says. Relknock quickly takes out a Pokeball. Grasping the ball firmly in his hands, he throws it at Bionic, hitting him on the side of the head. Ow, says Bionic as he drops his basketball. The Pokeball opens, revealing a ferocious Nido King. Aw, oh, dang, says Bionic. Roar, says the Nido King. This is for that whack in my head, back at the high school. Bionic the Hedgehog, shouts Relnog. Nido King, take down! The Nido King charges Bionic, but the powerful hedgehog stands his ground and plants his hands on its chest, holding it back. However, Bionic's strength proves useless as the ground itself gives way to the force of the Nido King's advance. Bionic begins to slide back through the loose soil of Quick Central Park, and only stops when he braces his feet against a tree. The battle becomes a standoff, 
and it seems only a matter of time before bionic stamina gives out, as the Nido King's HP is at 100%. Spotting a mud puddle, Sonichu performs a mud slap by kicking mud into the Nido King's face. Not only does the mud blind the Pokémon, but its HP is greatly reduced, and the pain forces it to back off from Bionic. Arr! Nido King! growls Weldnock. What the f is wrong with you? As Bionic recovers, Darkmind steps in to explain. Just to let you know, Bionic, Nido King is a Poison type, and he is weakest against Psychic and Ground-type attacks. Mud Slap is a Ground-type attack. Awesome. Thanks, Sonichu, says Bionic. Now y'all watch me work my globetrotting magic. Bionic presses his advantage by kicking the Nido King in the crotch. He follows up with a jumping uppercut to the Nido King's chin, then punches the top of its head with both fists. The onslaught is too much for the Nido King, and it faints, its HP reduced to zero. Dang it, Hedgehog! says Relnock as he recalls the beaten Pokémon back into its ball. I will have my revenge! Relnock poses with his hands on his left side, as if to perform Chris's signature Cursi Himea attack. But instead, he recites a very different utterance. Quee! Fee! My! Mo! Bobo! A sphere of purple energy forms in his hands, and he launches it at Bionic. Nonplussed, Bionic simply catches the ball of energy and spins it on his finger like a basketball. Using his whistling Harlem attack, Bionic dribbles the energy ball from one hand to the other and passes it around his back at super speed, then bounces it on his head while he repairs a videotape with a wrench. At last, he tosses the queefy my mo bobo wave back on Relknock, and it strikes him squarely in the chest. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, thinks Relknock. I've been afflicted by my own curse of... embarrassment. At once, Relknock loses control of his bowels, and a stream of excrement bursts forth from his thong underwear and out of the hole in the seat of his ripped blue jeans. Simultaneously, he urinates uncontrollably in his pants, soaking them thoroughly. He shouts as he grasps his codpiece and buttocks in agony. Humiliated, Relnock teleports away, leaving only a pile of his own feces behind. We'll get you back for this, threatens Giovanni. With Robotnik in tow, he flees the park in their hovercraft. A while ago, we find Sylvana Rosichu defeated in her psychic duel against Magician Sonichu. Ugh! You win this round, Magician! Using the last of her power, the shipless she-male teleports away. Darn, that took a while, thinks Magician. It finally took a moonlit memory to give her the headache. I'd better inform Sonichu where the punish slob took Rosichu. Back to now, at Quick Central Park. Magaji Le Skunk has arrived to praise the victorious Bionic. In his honor, she wears a Manchester Lancers cheerleader uniform. L. A. N. C. E. R. S. Let's go, Lancers! Let's go! Yay! Bionic! Gotta appreciate the good cheers, thinks Bionic as he takes in the adulation. But the lull in action is short-lived, as Magichan Sonichu contacts Sonichu via telepathy. Sonichu, we need you back at the mall, says Magichan. I'm on my way, responds Sonichu. Rosie, we gotta go. Okay, honey bolt, says Rosichu. is wrong with you? Cock! He shouts as he grasps his codpiece and buttocks in agony.